Today, we are diving deep into stacks, from fundamental concepts to coding in action with lead code. Let's jump right in. Think of a stack of dishes. You place one on top and also remove one from the top. It's a last in first out structure, meaning the last item you place in it is the first one you'll take out. For instance, in JavaScript, while we don't have a built-in stack data structure, we can easily emulate its behavior using arrays. By primarily using push and pop methods, our arrays start behaving just like a stack. With stacks, the action always happens at the top. Stacks are commonly used in computer systems to ensure the right order of operations, as we see back functionality of web browser or the undo feature in software applications or tracking function calls in recursion like JavaScript's call stack. Let's see the bigger complexities of stack operations. Stacks support three primary types of operations, push, which is adding an item to the top, pop, which is removing the top item, and peak or top, which is taking a quick look at the top item without removing it. These are the core operations you'll perform on a stack, and they are all very fast with a time complexity of O of 1. Whether you're adding an item, removing the top one, or just doing a peak, stacks deliver consistent speedy performance. However, searching within a stack is a no of n operation, because we might have to explore the entire stack, just like in a race. But the thing is that stacks aren't designed for searching, their strength lies in the primary operations, all of which are O of 1 time complexity. Now that we understand how stacks work, it's time to put our knowledge to the test with a lead code challenge. The challenge here is to design a stack that supports push, pop and top operations, but also one method that can effectively retrieve the minimum element. Before diving into the next solution video, give it a shot yourself and check out the upcoming solution video after you try it yourself. To quickly recap, stacks are last in first out data structures. Their primary operations are push, pop and peak, which are very efficient with O of 1 time complexity. While searching within a stack can take O of n time, it's essential to remember that stacks aren't primarily designed for searches. If you're interested in how to estimate big O complexities of stacks and other data structures, I recommend clicking on this video about big O notation next. See you in the next video where we'll solve the mean stack lead code problem.